I don't have an explanation for what's been going on. I don't think you are going to believe what's been going on. I don't quite believe what's been going on either. It's time for Project Palomo. Welcome to Project Palomo. I am your old mate DP here in the glorious DP Dome and we've got two games for you today. Big ones. We're at home to Roma and we're away to Juventus. As for what's been going on, we're third in Serie A. I don't know how. I'm, I'm quite baffled, but we'll have a look at the, the bigger league table. There you go. We don't have a top scorer, but uh, Kasper Urbanski is up there as one of the best players in the division. Uh, he's got three Player of the Match awards already. Uh, Chuana has got two Player of the Match awards. We're doing really rather well. Uh, and again, third in the league. We're only six points behind Milan with a game in hand, which is madness. <clears throat> Excuse me. Goodness gracious. And uh, we've been winning football games, which is also madness. We started against Lecce with a nil little draw. We beat Udinese 4-1. We got absolutely thumped by uh, Atalanta. And at that point, I thought, oh, dear. Uh, my tr transfer is all just miserable and horrible and gross. Uh, turns out, no. Lazio, a 3-1 win at home. An away win to Torino, which was huge, 2-1. We beat Milan at home. Top of the league, Milan, 1-0. Uh, a couple of friendlies in there because there was this huge gap between the 20th of September and 11th of October. We came back from that, that and drew against Como, which really is a match we uh, should have won. Uh, we beat Monza, uh, the Monza that, that have taken on a bunch of our outcasts, like Matteo Brunori. <laughs> um, uh, beat them 3-0. And we just drew with Cagliari, which is a bit disappointing, one all. But we're back in action today on the telly, mind you against Roma, and then we'll be away to Juventus. Uh, we have had a bit of an injury crisis, which is ongoing. Uh, Vasic isn't fully fit, uh, but Segre is injured. And if we have a look at his fitness, he's got a busted ankle. He's out for another 10 days or so. He's already been out for two weeks. Adopo, our defensive midfielder, has broken his chesticles. You can see that there. Um, he's been out for ages and should be back in the next six days or so. Um, but Obanski has just picked up an injury, and he's going to be out for over a month, about five weeks, which, again, is not ideal. Sorry, my other computer is just making noise. We'll turn that off. Once again, I could stop the recording, read all this. Haven't got time. Don't want to do it. You just have to deal. He's got a red knee. It glows in the dark, which would be handy in survival situations, but not so much when you're a professional footballer. So uh, he's undergoing treatment for that but everything else is going rather well at one point uh, arranging some transfers some young players highly rated youngsters to come in in january who popped up on my scout reports we didn't have enough to complete the deals i went to the board and asked them to increase the transfer budget and the wage budget which anyone who's played fm knows they will always say no to and they said yes so they bumped the transfer budget back up to about three and a half million and gave us 600 grand of wage budget. I've not adjusted that any further, uh, but they bumped it up. As you know, we, we were either just above or uh, just in the wage budget by about 40 grand at the start of the season. Uh, and then they gave us like another 80 or so to spend, which was glorious. We're still in the Copa Italia, uh, second round versus Torino, who we've already beaten. And third in the league is just insanity absolute insanity but we've got a small semi makeshift squad uh to try and get through the next few games with because Valukovic or walu um he's having to play defensive midfield for us at the moment but we'll go through the squad and then we'll get into the first bit of action against roma so fruit dylan goal of course we've got gallo maturo mercantile and perozzi uh, as our defenders, Maturo and Mercandali, both the youngsters, but doing quite well at centre-back. Walu as the half-back, Vasic comes in for the injured Segre and Adopo, and Ranocchia is there as the Mazala in midfield. Saidi and Chuana get the nod as the wingers behind Evandro, who has, I'll have you know, scored a couple of goals. Nine appearances, two goals. He's getting there. He's coming good, and I'm very excited. We also haven't had access to... Uh, where's he gone? Uh, the gift, 
the gift from the gods. He's been away on international duty like constantly for South Africa, but he's back today. So hopefully um, we can get something out of him. But he'll be our backup striker. Vopato and Kuo can cover the wings. And that is the plan. Anyway, let's go and play a game of football against Roma and hopefully pick up another three points. We're in a Champions League spot at the moment. And if you'd offered me Champions League football uh, the, at the start of the season, I would have been terrified because much like the promotion to Serie A, I, we're not ready for that. We don't have a Champions League squad. We don't have a team capable of competing at that level or on more than the two fronts we already are, as evidenced by our frequent injuries. But we're going to make do as best we can and just try to keep the good times rolling. We've had a few hiccups, as you've seen, but we're not dropping really any more points than the top teams in the league. So things are looking promising and I'm starting to feel like maybe we built a good squad in the summer. The evidence would suggest so, but we'll see how we go today. Maybe the boys are just turning it on when you're not here and we're going to bottle it now that you're all looking on. But we've got to throw it with Gallo. Vasic over to Wale, so he crosses it in. Evandro was there. Chuana picks up the rebound, but couldn't get the shot past the goalkeeper. We've won another corner. We'll see if these are effective at all. Good ball in. Couldn't beat the first man. Roma trying to reclaim, but it comes back to us and the highlight just ends. But that was a positive sign. We're well on top so far in terms of possession and everything else, but this is danger because set pieces have been around doing consistently. And that's disappointing. So we'll encourage the boys. I'd like to berate them, but it's early days, we've got plenty of time. I say that, it's almost half time now. So maybe I should be panicking. We're not gonna panic. It's going to be fine. Piroxi now, looking for an option. Finds Mercandali out wide, into Wali. We'll talk about the tactic in the second half because I'm trying to call this run of play. But it's working the way I wanted it to. Evandro's in, and he's hit the woodwork. Oh, my goodness. He's had so many chances, and that keeps happening. And I think it's just luck. It is just luck that stopped him bagging a hat full of goals for us. He's just been really unfortunate at times. And I feel for the lad. But he can definitely do a job. Chuana is on a 6.2. He is not having a good day. And I'm thinking... We're just going to swap the wingers over and try him that way around and get him some space because it's not really good enough. Uh, yeah, show me something else in the second half. Defenders, you weren't that bad. Midfielders, you were not that bad. But keep going. You've got the ability to make a difference. And for the strikers, you weren't that bad. And Vandre had a big chance. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to demand more from Chihuahua. Lift your game, sir. This is unacceptable. So the tactic with our inverted wing back and I think an inverted full back, we're getting a lot of numbers in the field. And you can see the players moving around at the back when we're in attack. We hold our shape really well on defence. We're just leaky. We're just leaky and it's very frustrating. But in attack, uh, hopefully, we'll be able to see it in a moment. Chuan is down at 6.1. He's coming off. I'm not having this. Uh, and for Pato to come on on that side and just do something different. Give me an option. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, the throat's gone. I'm losing it. So you can see here, the fullbacks, uh, we turned it over, so they've all gone back to position. But the fullbacks come inside, like, right into the heart of midfield. The centre backs are there to cover. The halfback drops back to almost create a drop, uh, a back three. And it's doing what I hoped it would do when I set the uh, tactic up, which is interesting and enjoyable. But less enjoyable is when we give away possession while we're trying to build that attack and everyone bombs forward. And it puts us under a lot of pressure. So if you've got any suggestions on how to overcome that little hiccup to the tactic, I'm all ears because we need a hand. We just can't clear our lines here. So Edie now making a break, finds up Vandro, who's got some space. He needs an option and needs some help, but he just keeps running instead. Looking for that support, crosses in. Chuana's underneath it, heads towards the goal, and Chuana, who I've just taken off, scores so he can stay on now 6.1 we swap his side and he puts a goal in the back of the net while running yellow card shows what i know i am still tempted to 
to take him off. But that's a great cross from Evandro and really good work from Chiwana to beat this guy in the air and head it over the keeper. A high, lofted effort and we're back on level pegging with Roma. And now it's game on. And I'm much happier, it must be said. I've encouraged the boys accidentally because I wouldn't usually do that. But actually, that's a lie. It's one all. I would absolutely hit encourage in that situation, which is why I did it. Oh, goodness. Right, come on, lads. Let's win the ball back and go get a winner. Or at least take an advantage and give ourselves some breathing room. They're cutting inside. And that shot is high and over. We are going to make a couple of changes really quickly before they take this corner. I will take Chuana off and bring on Garen Kiwol and Christian Popato. So I want to have a look at them and just see if they can give me something different. Perotti, I'm going to take off for Ratnik, who's been playing quite well. And I don't really have an option that is going to be useful for midfield. I'd love another centre-back, but I just don't have one. I could drop Walu back, but then I've got no one to play defensive mid who isn't a child, which is a problem. So carry on, gentlemen. Let's defend this corner. Get the ball out of here. There's Vandro. He's absolutely tiny next to that guy. <laughs> it's minuscule. I haven't actually checked Evandro's tonight, but we do know, uh, according to his little graph thing and his player profile, he's no good in the air. And I suspect that's because he's a teeny tiny little human and headers are never going to be his thing. Right, we do need to make a change now. Gallo is tired. Di Chiara can come on for him. That should be relatively harmless. Um... Matura is apprehensive, so I will drop Walu back there, swap these two over. I'll drop Ranikia back as the defensive mid. And can Batari play midfield? Not really. Uh, I'm going to play Pasucci, young Masucci. Although I would like to have a look at the other striker. Gift. So maybe we won't do all that. Let's undo the last couple of changes. Stick with that. Yep. And I'm going to throw Gift on for Evandro. And we'll see if he's got a little something, something that can help us out. Oh, the indecision. It's crippling. And I'm tripping over my tongue. Because I'm very excited. And I've been very excited to show you this crazy situation <laughs> of the league table. We've got a chance now of Oparto with a free kick inside to Ratnik. And Vasic is there. And Vasic has given us the lead. Question of offside, the flag wasn't raised, but the ref's going to have a look at it. Oh my goodness, please allow this goal and give us this result over Roma. And it counts. Oh my word, we've punished them with a cheeky little free kick. And their plays are unmarked. Well, our plays are unmarked. Their plays aren't doing the marking. This guy, give yourself an uppercut, Mr. Headband, because he played Vasic in there, and you have been punished. I'm going to praise the boys. It's just a couple of minutes to go of injury time and yet another victory. And that pulls us within three points of the top spot in Serie A. And Evandro's got a seven and another goal to his tally. Uh, yes, you've done brilliantly to come back and win that, all of you. I am a very, very happy manager. That is a great result. and Leaves us with a positive goal difference. Uh, eight goals for us. I mean, 14 goals behind Milan. Their goal difference is ridiculous. 21 points from the 10 matches played. Could we qualify for the Champions League? I don't know, and it's too early to talk about it. So Shosh will be back in a moment, and we will play the next match. Just quickly, before we get to the next game. Palermo make it seven unbeaten. Most pundits still expect us to finish bottom half of the table, but we've netted 17 times in 10 matches. Good run of results, and media don't know what they're talking about. Speaking of the media, if we have a look at the season preview, uh, 17th still. We're third in the league, but the media are like, nah, you're going to finish 17th. I mentioned a couple of signings for youngsters, and I forgot about it. I've remembered now, so... To undo the forgetting, I'm going to show you them. This guy is Otto Graziani and 1.3 million for him. He's joining us on the 2nd of January. He's an attacking midfielder, which we don't need, but it can help us out as a backup striker. He's only 18, so if we can keep him for a few years, he'll help fulfill that requirement of players trained at the club. 
for three years. But look at his numbers. There's greens in there and yellows. He's a real, like, actual player. Not like actual real world. I, I don't know about that. But he looks quality. Already rated four stars. He's six foot two. He's got some pace. Good dribbling ability. Good technique. Excellent vision. This guy could be a superstar. We just need to train him to play on the wing or up front because he can play striker as well, which is handy. But we're going to retrain him and make him more useful to us. And then this guy, Wachara Makmi, is uh, from Thailand. He is a Thai attacking midfielder. He's great on the right wing. He can help out on the left. He can play in the centre, which we're not using anymore. But again, he's got some green in passing, in technique, in teamwork, which is impressive. He's five foot eight. 67 kilos, he's a right footer, he's got a national reputation. We're getting him for a bargain basement price. I think all up, uh, we're paying a million pounds for him. 500 grand up front, another 500K on installments. Absolute bargain, and he could be fantastic for us based on his potential ability, uh, uh, assuming he reaches it. And again, only 18 years old so we're building for the future because we're hanging around for a while we want to win the league we want to win the champions league it's going to take time but these guys will be an important part of the homegrown puzzle and i'm very excited to meet them in january just about ready for kickoff against juventus i got a little bit further forward and then remembered i wanted to show you something very forgetful today juventus are down in 11th place in the league this is an underperforming Juve side, I got curious and had a look at what they've been up to for the last few years. Um, so they had a bit of a dip back here in 22-23, which we all saw in 7th and 4th to 3rd. I don't know what's been going on there. Uh, and then a 3rd place finish and 6th place last season and down in 11th at the moment. So if ever we were in with a shout of getting one over Juventus, this is it, especially away from home. Well, they're in poor form and underperforming. Um, yes, yes, tasty, tasty prospects. So, team, to face Juventus, we did have some good news. Adopo and Segre are back in training from injury. Neither fully fit. Adopo's right to do about 45 minutes off the bench. Segre's about the same. If I can avoid getting them involved today, I will. But I w would like to get some match time into Adopo in the second half, if possible. Um just with the aim of getting him back to full fitness. But the squad for today, Fructo, Ingol, Gallo, Maturo, Mercandali, and Perotti. That's all my static defense at this point. Uh, Vlukovic as the defensive midfielder yet again. Vasic and Ranocchia ahead of him with Garin Kuol getting the nod uh, over Emil Saidi, whose form has taken a bit of a dip. So uh, Kuol's been good this season. He's just got a call up to the Australian squad with Volpato. And want to give him a run. Uh, Chiwana on the right-hand side. And Van Droy keeping his spot up front. Because he scored a football goal. And I like that in a striker. Hopefully he can do it again against Juventus. And hit a bit of a purple patch. It would be delicious. Go out there and impress me, lads. We probably owed them. And I should have done revenge. But I wasn't paying attention. I just want to get the game played. I'm a bit excited at the prospect of toppling Juventus. But they have got some really good players. So, it's still not an easy task, uh, but a good test of our mental fortitude, as it were. We've got a throw in. Perotti over to Ranakia, who runs backwards with the ball. To Vasic now. Finds Wali playing in that half back role. We'll drop in nice and deep, which is what we want. Evandro running forward. Finds some space. Shoots. Hits the keeper. But that was a really good chance. Positive signs again. For Evandro. He gets into good positions. We're just sort of counting on him hitting his stride, hopefully in the back end of the season. And when the other youngsters come in and possibly provide a, a bit of competition for his place, I'm hoping he rises to the occasion. Gallo's just been battered there, and that is a problem. What I might do is move Pirozzi over, and we'll bring on Ratnik because Chiara's not fully fit and that's not ideal in the first five minutes of the game they've broken Antonio Gallo who's been really good so far this season so that is a shame but we've got to throw in and we're going to attack Juventus hopefully and not give the ball away and do something stupid uh, Vasic now back to Wiley we're just building from the back 
We've got the work ball into box instruction on now as part of the tactic. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, come on, <laughs> over to Vasic, inside to Ranokia. He shoots from outside and scores! Filippo Ranokia with another long range effort, becoming his trademark from those midfield positions. He's playing as the, uh, I think, advanced playmaker today with Vasic and Mazala. No, because I've personalised their roles. Uh, so Ranakia is playing as Mazala, and that is a lovely strike into the top corner. Well done, Mr. Ranakia. And I really like him. He's good. And his name uh, reminds me of uh, Rakim, which is fun. So, yes. For Halloween, I suspect he'll be wearing a Rakim costume. I'll insist on it. If he wants game time, he's going to have to do that. That was poor from the centre-back there. I think that would have been Maturo, who's the younger of our young centre-back pairing. It was a poor touch, and we were nearly punished for it, but uh, thankfully the shot was high and a little wide. Well, into the centre. Evandro's there trying to head the ball, but he is minuscule compared to those defenders. I have toyed with the idea of turning on low crosses to try and get some service into feet for Evandro, but that's a great through ball, and he's fluffed his lines there and put that well wide, just a rush of blood to the head with the opportunity. He's young, and that's going to happen. I'm not going to be as harsh, uh, on Evandro as we were on Mancuso last season because uh, I signed this guy. So clearly I'm biased. I'm going to spare my blushes. That's a really good goal from the, them and it pains me to say it. But we left ourselves exposed in that central area and we have been made to pay for it. There's too many bodies over here. Gaps opening up inside. Three players crowding around him. What was Wiley doing? Just out of position. He should be dropping back to help out in that halfback role and he was nowhere to be seen and that is a shame but we can encourage the boys it's still one all and i'll take a point against juventus but i can't help but feel we should be doing a bit better they're on the attack now the tails are up the momentum's with them following that goal there's still 10 minutes to go as well in the first half we are not out of the woods yet wiley gets a strong challenge in but it's all for naught because they're still coming at us now and that's a let off they've hit the woodwork and it's bounced out for a throw in but i don't think fruit do would have got anywhere near that shot i mean he didn't which is why it hit the woodwork it's a good ball in from juventus Chuan's trying to get there and put some pressure on the attacking Juve player that's a poor ball in fruit do claims and we can all breathe a little bit easier for a moment but the highlights continuing so either we're going to go and have a shot or something really dumb is about to happen looks like it's done with a throw out uh, but, yep, there it is. It's a poor ball. A very poor ball from Ratnik. He's not our first choice left back. And now heading into the centre and they've scored and I'm not happy about it. And I don't know, I mean, what would be a better role than half back in here? A Regista? I don't think so. A defensive mid? No. A ball winning midfielder? I just need to get involved. The idea of that half back is to shore up the defence. Everybody's missed it and wound up opening the channel. I'm not sure what to do about it. I'm going to berate them for conceding. We're down 2 1, and I'm not pleased. The ball's just not getting forward enough. We might turn off work ball in the box because that hasn't had the desired effect at all. I was hoping it would create more chances. Absolutely hasn't. Right, Juve with the ball. We've won it back. Wally over to Ratnik. Needs a better pass. And that was better. Wally out to Evandro now. And he's lost out. And he's just sandwiched between two defenders. Come on, lads. Win the ball back. Don't let them through. Fill this central space. Get some bodies in there. I'm just knocking them around far too easily. And I jinxed myself. I jinxed myself by saying, this is a Juve team that's out of form. And blah, 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 blah. They're still Juventus. They've still got fantastic world-class players at their disposal. And they're showing us why we should not take them in the last The injury to Gallo didn't help. We've been exposed at left back, exposed in the centre because of injury. And yeah, I, I don't like it. Uh, point the finger. No, thrash the arms. You have been terrible so far. The attackers, uh, I'm not happy with your finishing. The midfield, control the game. Defenders, I'm not happy with your defensive work. Um, and I am tempted to make an early change drop Wally back in the centre of defence get Maturo out of there 
and bring on a dopo just to try and shore things up. And you know what? I think we're going for it. Koala hasn't shown up today, which is disappointing. And then a dopo is going to come on for Maturo. Wally's going to drop back and we'll swap these two over because Wally's better on the right hand side. I think actually, do we usually play him that way around? I think we're usually that way. I'm going that way. It's what we're going with. And before we kick off again, Chihuahua. We're going to demand more. Evandro, we're going to demand more. And that'll do for now. Let's try to get him to lift the game. Courage team. We're 3-1 down. So, we've had more possession. We're going attacking. This isn't working. Joanne's coming off. Aparto can come on for him. Evandro's in danger of getting booked, so he's going to come off. And that's all our changes. Just freshening up the attack. We're just trying to make something happen. It doesn't look like we are. Juve just shut up shop and there's no way through. It's disappointing. Maybe we go more direct with Gift up front. It's an attacking highlight for Juventus. Well, this is a disappointing way to end an episode where we're big enough our chances and, and talking about how well some of the players have been doing. They have not put on a show today. Decent effort from Gopato, but that's gone wide. We need to get that on target. And now Juve in our attacking third, which is not what we want to see. We need to win the ball. Don't let him turn and shoot. It's all too easy. I mean, it is Locatelli. And I hear he's quite good at the football things. But 4-1 is a real kick in the teeth. We've just been played off the park. And it's very disappointing. Not happy with the lads. This is not how we played all season. Don't let this fall you. <laughs> but we are going to take the L and uh, yeah we'll put our hands on our hips our hands in the pockets actually I'm far from pleased with that result defenders not happy midfielders disappointed attackers furious with your finishing just as Evandro scores and things are looking up it all goes a bit wobbly but still we're in fourth place we're in Champions League spot all is not lost it's not a disaster we should not be where we are i told you at the start of the episode i didn't have an explanation for what was going on i can't really explain that loss other than we were very much exposed and that's not what we need another four week long injury we just got two players back and now we lose another one that we don't really have a decent backup for and i think that'll be the priority in january uh, is to get some more depth in defense and another midfielder is what we need just in case so leave that with me in the meantime we shall play on keep working on and we'll see where we were at at the beginning of january we'll play at home to frosinone and away to sassuolo and see how we measure up we've also got the copa italia match against torino we'll let you know how that goes but we'll get through another chunk of games and i'll check in with you in january I enjoyed half that one, so if you enjoyed all of it, hit the like button down below and subscribe so you don't miss another episode, because missing episodes is like the worst possible thing you could do. And leave a comment, tell me what you think, how do we fix this midfield halfback issue and getting exposed, because I'm clueless. Let me know what you think, until next time I shall see you next time, take care of your mum for me, or say hi to your mum for me, that's the thing that I say. Anyway, be good, you can't be good. Don't get caught. I'm going to go cry for one against UV. <laughs> Palermo! Palermo! Palermo!